Hey, what's going on guys? This is White Chaos, so welcome back to another Destiny video. In today's Destiny video, I'm going to be going over everything that the Lord Saladin, aka the Iron Banner, is selling during the week of July 28th, 2015 towards August 4th, 2015. So, it is Iron Banner week and I am, I am a day late to giving you guys this news, so I apologize for that. So, let's get right into it. Before we start off, the weapons, you can re-roll after purchase. The cloaks are different on all the characters. I'm sorry, it's not a cloak, that's on the Hunter. The class armors are different on all of the characters, but I'm not going to go through them. The reason being is because these armors right here are all the same throughout every character. They're the same builds, whether it's the Intellect plus 82, Strength 81 right here, and the Fusion Rifles and Auto Rifle upgrade. It'll be still the same on the Hunter or Warlock. I am the Titan right now. So I'm just not going to go through that on every single character because they are all the same. So let's get into it right now with the Iron Bridge Plate, the Light 36, Intellect 82, Strength 81, Carry More Ammo for Fusion Rifles and Carry More Ammo for Auto Rifles, unlocked on Iron Banner Rank 3 for 5,000 Glimmer. Same goes with this, Iron Banner Rank 3 for 5,000 Glimmer, but this one is Intellect 75, Discipline 81, Carry More Ammo for Shotgun, and Carry More Ammo for Scout Rifle. Next we have the Iron Breed Great Helm which is 36 light, intellect 62, strength 60, grenade hits restore melee energy, and more super energy from grenade kills. Unlocked on Iron Banner rank 4 for 5000 glimmer. Same goes with this, the only thing changed is the intellect plus 56, discipline plus 60, increased melee attack speed, more super energy from non-guardian kills. Now we're onto the weapons, the Ephrodite Spear Sniper Rifle, Oh, one thing I want to go over before we get in, get into anything else is that the reason why there's multiple chest armor and helmets is so Bungie is basically just letting you build your own class. Whether if you want, say your specialty are shotguns and scout rifles, you want this build right here. And if your specialty is fusion rifles and auto rifles like I like to do, you would want to buy the first one. So it all depends on what kind of build you want to do. Now onto the... The weapons, the Ephrodite Spear Sniper Rifle, it's easier to aim under fire using this weapon. Reloading this weapon has a chance to grant a larger than normal magazine. The Glimmer is 7000 unlocked at rank 4. Now the next gun is the Timmer's Lash Hand Cannon. One random bullet in the magazine causes considerably bonus damage. Rapid landing precision hits will return one round of the magazine. Unlocked at Iron Banner rank 5 for 7000 Glimmer. Again, you can re-roll these weapons. Like I said in the beginning of the video. Now onto the Sigil of the Iron Lord's Emblem for 1000 Glimmer unlocked at Iron Banner Rank 1. Next is the Million Million Armor Shader unlocked at Iron Banner Rank 2 for 1000 Glimmer. Next we have the Scar of Radagast Emblem unlocked at Iron Banner Rank 3 for 1000 Glimmer. Now here are the class armor right here. It's going to be different on all three characters. I'm just not going to go over them. On the Warlock, you have this bond that protrudes like a little hologram of the Iron Banner logo above the bond. And I'm on the Titan right here, so you can see the sash like that. And the Hunter is just a cloak with the Iron Banner logo on the back of it. So there's your visual representation of that. Here we have the Silomar's Iron Sash, the Titan mark, of course. Unlocked on Iron Banner, rank 4 for 2000 Glimmer. Next we have the Gold Spiral Armor Shader, unlocked at Iron Banner Rank 5 for 1000 Glimmer. The last thing we have is the Etheric Light Material, which you unlock at Iron Banner Rank 3 for 5000 Glimmer. Now he is not selling two Etheric Light this month, which is unfortunate. Last month he did that, so I was fortunate enough to actually get both of them. If I were you guys, oh yeah, one last thing, the buff, it increases your XP, your, um, your banner standings in... Every time you purchase that buff, it's for one mode of light, and it lasts for like 12 hours. So you'll just get a slight increase of Iron Banner um, standings. Uh, reputation, that's the word I'm trying to find. I'm sorry about that. I was kind of stumbling upon, like, figuring out which word I was trying to find. And there it was, reputation. Now, if I were you guys, I'd want to purchase the Gold Spiral out of this week. Uh, definitely the Etheric Light. If you're going all the way, you definitely want to do that just for the Gold Spiral. And the Etheric Light, you do want. The Scar of Redagast is a cool emblem to have. I I got that last month, so I'm pretty happy I did that. And out of these builds, it's, it's really your choice on which one you want to go with. One 
on the uh, chest armor, you unlock those at rank 3, but the helmet's at rank 4. And if you're trying to get some weapons, you're going to have to go to rank 4 and 5 for these. Considerably, you do want to get the Ephrodite Spear. I personally think, and a lot of people personally think, that it is better than the Tamer's Lash. So really, you need to go to rank 4 if you want that weapon. But if you want the Gold Spiral, or I think that was it, or the Gold Spiral or the Timmer's Lash, you'd have to go to Iron Banner Rank 5, which I'm going to be doing that anyways, so I'm going to be purchasing all these items, and maybe you guys will do it too. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let's see if we can hit 5 likes on the video. That would be amazing. I will see you guys next time for more Destiny content. I'm probably going to be uploading something about the Lighthouse tomorrow, so make sure to get on at around this time just to watch that video. It might be uploaded in the morning. Who knows yet? So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time for more Destiny content. Peace.